This episode of Distraction is sponsored by Omega Bright CBD, formulated by Omega Bright Wellness, creators of the number one Omega-3 supplements for the past 20 years. Omega Bright CBD, safe, third-party tested, and it works. Shop online at omegabrightwellness.com. And by Landmark College, offering comprehensive support for students with ADHD and other learning differences. Learn more at lcdistraction.org. Landmark College, the college of choice for students who learn differently. Hi, this is Dr. Ned Hallowell, and welcome to Distraction. You know, earlier this week, we released an episode with beloved children's author Dave Pilkey. Well, today, you're going to hear a little bit more of that conversation, but with a twist. We asked some fourth and fifth graders at Green Acres Elementary School in North Haven, Connecticut, what questions they had for Dave, and we got quite a list. We didn't have time to ask Dave all of the questions, but we wanted to share a few of them with you. The students' questions were submitted in writing, so I asked Dave the questions on the kids' behalf. Let's jump right into the first question. Did you ever think you would be famous? No, no. Um, I I always loved the reaction that my artwork got from my peers, and so I think that um, helped to encourage me to, to continue practicing my art. Um, but I never thought I'd be famous, no. What is your favorite book that you've written? That's like asking what's your favorite child. Yeah. I don't know that I have a favorite book, but I do have a favorite series, and it's the series I'm working on now, the Dogman series. And that's, that's uh, your love letter to dogs. It is, yeah. It's a graphic novel series. Graphic novels, for some reason, I think with my dyslexia, um, it, they're easier for me to read. For some reason, breaking up the text into little boxes helps me um, to get th- get through it. I, yeah. uh, every now and then, I I, I do read normal, regular books uh, or, or with lots and lots of, of text. I do, um, but sometimes um, it, it, you know one giant page of text after another can be a little intimidating. And uh, with Dogman, breaking up the text is is really important. I think a lot of children are responding to that as well, especially because. It's not just for kids with ADHD, but a lot of kids who are really getting into the series are just learning to read, and, and so I think that helps them with uh, the intimidation factor. Yeah, yeah, no, absolutely. What is your favorite character in all of your books? Um, in the Dogman series, there is a cat, and his name is Petey, and he, he started out as a villain, and there was something about him, though. I just, every time I drew him, I was like, he, I don't think that he's this... One-dimensional character, yeah, or two-dimensional character. I think there's something about him. I think he's got a heart in there, and um, and so I started to explore that in the Dogman series, and and uh, starting with book three, he's starting to come around. And I just finished book seven a few days ago. Um, yeah. Finished writing and illustrating it, and and he's he's really turning a new leaf. He's really trying to be a better version of himself and, and a, a good father. And he's and I like I like to see the evolution and the development of that now, character. It's so interesting. You, you talk about him as if he's his own character, not in your head. Oh, you? yeah, yeah. He's real. <laughs> he's <laughs> real. Yeah. He's, to me, he's real. You make him. No, uh, it doesn't feel that way to yeah. me, though. It, it, to me, it, it feels like a lot of these characters I've lived with. And, and I mean, they're, they're living in my head. And, 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 yeah. and um, I know exactly what they would say and, and in any situation, how they would react. Yeah. And if I'm writing a story that, you know, it almost is if, if, I, if I come up with a situation, I know what they'll do. And so that helps me to write because they are, to me, they are real. So you could, uh, you could interview them? Oh, I could, yes, yeah. definitely, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm not sure Petey would sit still for an interview. He'd probably take off. How long does it take you to write a book? Lately, it's taken about six months to, to write and illustrate. I do wow. both. Yeah. Wow. It takes me longer. <laughs> I'm sure. Yeah. Who is your favorite author? Hmm. I would say uh, Malcolm Gladwell, I think, is, is one. Um, I would say uh, probably Henry David Thoreau is another. And... and um, Perhaps uh, Arnold Lobel. What do you do in your spare time? In my spare time, 
I haven't had a whole lot of spare time yeah. lately. Yeah. <laughs> but um, my wife and I, we love New York City, and we loved. Uh, we also love Tokyo, we, and so we're we're often in, in one place or the other, and we just uh, we love to explore. Um, we love to eat good food, and and um, it's it's just fun to uh, you know to bum around a city and watch movies and things like that. Yeah, that's a, and the last one. Can you please make a Dog Man movie? Uh, oh, <laughs> well. That's something I wouldn't do, but but because um, I didn't make the Captain Underpants movie either. But uh, but hopefully we'll we'll have that. Um, that somebody will start working on that soon. I, I'm hoping. Do you mind if I ask what, what if you were in my position and you were talking to a group of kids? And many, I think a lot of the kids in my audience do have some kind of a challenge, um, ADHD or dyslexia. Sometimes there's autism or, or Asperger's or something. What, what would you say? If you were trying to encourage kids to feel better I, um, about themselves, to have a better... It, it, oh, I would say love, absolutely. Mm. Um, and, and it's so amazing how people don't say that. I mean, my profession doesn't prescribe it. I mean, it's why I prescribe dogs, you know? I mean, yeah, yeah. I mean, dogs, that's what they do. You know, that, that's what they do. And and then the kids, I would just, I'd say, just be who you are and find people who like you as you are. And to parents, don't try to turn them in the kid you wish you had. Love the kid you've got. Because that kid <laughs> will... That's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. You know, because that kid is going to turn out so much better than the kid you wish you had. Yeah. You know, and, yeah. and, and maybe not right this minute today, but look at you. I mean, you know, from the kid who was sitting in the hallway to the kid, to the man who's brought joy to millions and millions and millions of people. And, you know, and, and you know, that, that you're living proof, you know, and, and, and you survived all the abuse that nobody should ever have to take. And that's another thing about us. You know, we are very resilient, you know. But, yeah, that's what I would say to these kids. I'd say, you know, and I'd say, you know, I'm Dave Pilkey. I've, I've lived it. Don't ever give up and just trust yourself and trust the people who love you and tell the others to take a hike, you know. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> you know, so... You know, and you and you've got it in you. You know, it'll it'll come out. You know, and it'll surprise you. That's for sure about our brains. It's not a straight line. It's a zigzag. And for all that you went through, you could have ended up an angry, bitter, drug addicted. You know, and instead, you're this purveyor of love and tenderness. And to me, that just it's such a magnificent message, you know. It's a, it's a wonderful thing. Thank you. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you'd like to hear my full discussion with Dave, please check out our full-length episode from this week. Dave has an amazing story to tell. He's truly a, a hero and an amazing guy. His latest book, Dogman, Brawl of the Wild, is available now. Learn more at his website, pilkey.com. That's P-I-L-K-E-Y dot com. Thanks so much for listening. Distraction is produced by Collisions, the podcast division of CRN International. Collisions, podcasts for curious people. Our producer is the delightful and creative and inimitable Sarah Curtin. Our audio engineer and our editor is the deeply intelligent Roman Zeitlin. The episode of Distraction you just heard was sponsored by Omega Bright CBD. Formulated by Omega Bright Wellness, creators of the number one Omega-3 supplements for the past 20 years. Omega Bright CBD, safe, third-party tested, and it works. Shop online at omegabrightwellness.com.